Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here to talk a little bit about mail-in ballots. This is my mail-in ballot. Uh, I have only used a mail-in ballot one time and I didn't mail it in. This was in 2020 uh, during all the craziness with COVID and uh, I went down to my local polling place and put this in the slot and didn't go in because of all the rig and roll that was going on at the time. And uh, I just, I didn't feel like messing with it. Other than that, I've always gone in and uh, done the whole voting thing. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy the process. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that my ballot is is getting there. And if you go down and put it in, which I don't know, maybe I'll do that this year. Maybe I won't go down and drop it in the slot on election day. I'm not going to mail it. And it says here's some of the information, return your mail ballot to a trusted source. Uh U.S. Postal Service. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I've never had any issues with the Postal Service, really. I've sent a couple of things that got damaged in in the process, but I've never had them actually lose anything. Mail it through the U.S. Postal Service or drop off your signed return envelope with ballot enclosed at any elections, office, or polling place in the state. You can drop it off to 17 official election drop boxes across Kern County, Kern County between now and Election Day. One of the things I kept uh, hearing last year was how this little hole here in the bottom, they were able to tell if you uh, were had a Republican or a Democrat uh, ballot, and that's not true. Uh, it doesn't matter how you fold this thing up. If you fold it, this is how it comes. There's nothing here. There's no barcodes, nothing. There's absolutely nothing on this that would give away anything that you had to do. There's a number right here on the very bottom of the uh, la of the back page. If you don't want that shown through that hole, and it doesn't, it's not on the front. If you fold it up the way it came, it's not visible. And I don't know that that would line up with that hole anyway. I don't know what that hole's for. Maybe just to make sure when it gets to the uh, elections office or the polling place or whatever that it actually has something in it other than that other than that they just throw this away and not have to mess with it i don't know i don't work for an elections uh for the elections office and i don't volunteer at polls and, and i don't want to what got my attention though was that uh right now it's my wife our youngest daughter my wife has three kids and i have three kids and uh, her youngest, our youngest, is the only one who still lives at home. She's going to college right now. The rest are all moved off. But we still get ballots for two of the kids, my middle daughter and hers. My wife's daughter does vote. This is something that she would want to have. I don't know that my daughter is going to vote. I, she's going through a bunch of stuff right now. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. But the point is, we still get their ballots here. And, they, and neither of them have lived here for a long time. And uh, what's to keep one of us from taking those ballots, opening them up, filling them out the way we want to fill them, fill, fill them out and send them in? Maybe that'll get caught at, on election day. And one of the uh, if, if one of the kids were to go to a polling place and try to vote, and they said, "Well, you shows here you've already voted." Maybe that would get caught. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe. You've got somebody who doesn't care, who didn't vote anyway, but they have a driver's license, so they get the so they get their their registered to vote through that. And who's to say that this doesn't happen? If if our household is getting two of these every year, we do what we're supposed to do with them. And uh, if I decide not to go this route this year, I will shred this. I haven't made that decision yet, but I won't just go throw it in the trash. If we get these, how many other households in America are getting ballots for people who are no longer in that house? Maybe it's the people who used to live there. Maybe it's your kids. Maybe you know your kids don't care. Maybe you don't care that your kids, even if they, you'll fill it out anyway because you're a jerk. Someone who may be deceased. There's no telling why you're going to get these ballots or how many you're going to get that will give a person the opportunity to commit voter fraud, messing with somebody else's ballot, mailing it in, filling it out without their permission and mailing it in, forging a signature on it. Those are, those are illegal 
acts. But not only, I understand, not only are they not enforcing it, they certainly didn't enforce it in the last election, the last general. Not only are they not enforcing it, it's my understanding they're not even pursuing it. So they're not probably not paying a lot of attention if the computers haven't caught up yet with this before election day, before they start counting these, somebody's going to get to vote twice or somebody who didn't vote at all ends up voting. It's uh, it's risky. And I, I'm not a big fan of, of ballot, of mail-in ballots for that reason. Now I understand there are people who can't get down there for whatever reason they're sick or they're injured or whatever. It doesn't make any difference. I understand that, but I think you should actually have to be able to prove, to submit a reason that you can't go in and vote in person. I really think that should be the case. Like jury duty, uh, you can't just, you know, you can't just uh, not do it. Go vote unless you have a legitimate reason for not being able to go down there. Uh, this is the voting process that our country was founded upon. We don't, like to said this a hundred times, we don't live in a democracy. We live in a constitutional republic. We elect our representatives through a democratic process. And the first time that someone on either side of the aisle commits voter fraud, they have spoiled the democratic process. I don't know. Maybe I'm paranoid. I don't know. I just think I like the democratic process, going down there and doing it. And this... Uh, you get these. It has your little sticker on there. I voted. But I like going down and having that guy or that gal down at the at the polling place uh, hand me that and stick it on my shirt right then. What do you think about all this? Are you a fan of mail-in ballots? Do you agree that it, it's very, very easy to abuse the privilege of mail-in ballots? Let me know what you think. Drop me comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com. Like Share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later, maybe at the polls.